to the Liz Consulting YouTube channel where we discuss matters, finance, investments, and running successful businesses. Today, being the beginning of the year or the first month of the year, we continue to discuss things about goal setting. Last, the last, the last, the last conversation we had was about investing for this year and to the future. But now, remember one of the things that we say is that you need to think about your goals. So today, we are covering seven key goal setting mistakes and five key solutions that we have for you. So remember, we shall start with this. Albert Einstein started and said, if you want to live a happy life, um, then tie it to a goal. So it is very, very important that your life is all goal oriented because lack of goals means that you're shooting to the, on the dark all the time. So the trouble of not having a goal is that you can spend your life running up and down the field and never scoring. So you can imagine that you live your life and then you never you realize that you really did not live because you have nothing that you need to achieve. I, I was actually discussing or really listening to the conversation by Jess Shetty and one of the things that uh, you want to live a comfortable life. Think about how your life will be discussed with your death. So the way you want your life to be discussed in your death, then it means that you go, go the goals that you achieved or the things that you, the change that you made is what will be discussed then. So what are the seven key things that are mistakes that you need to be aware of? or you need to think about as you set your goals. The number one is really not defining them. It is important to define what you want to go, where you want to go, and also where, how you're going to get there. Remember, most of the time, we have goals and we, have, we don't define them. Neither do we put an actual plan to it, and that puts us away from where we need to go. So define your goals, and also, 50% if you want to attain your goals, documenting them is important. That is because you're creating a commitment to yourself in terms of where you want to go. Then the other thing is, one, we set too few goals or we set too many goals. If you set too many goals, then you don't know what to focus on. Focus really creates the ability to move on with what you want to do. Then setting too few goals, then you end up meeting them. So you become complacent and you are not able to push yourself to the next level. So it is good to set just our goals that um, they will stretch you enough but at the same time, make sure that you are focusing on one goal at a time so that you are able to move forward. And point number three, you can, you, the, so those of us who ride on other people's goals, remember our destination or our destiny is very different. So it is good to learn from other people, but riding on other people's goals is a sure way to fail because you don't know what drives them and what even where they want to achieve. And point number four, not being too real with the, with the resources require, required for you. You remember we have talked about uh, setting too few or too many goals. If you have so many goals, then you may not have the sufficient resources to actually be able to, uh, to achieve those goals. In resources in terms of time, in terms of human capital, in terms of even capital that is required. So it is good to make sure that as you set up the goal, come up with the actual plan so that you can actually know what is the resource requirement? If, for example, you want to do a book or write a book, what is required? Are you, and what is the, the process that you're going to undertake? Because, yes, there are very different paths to get to a certain goal. So it is good to understand the resource requirement and how capable you are to get to there. Then the other thing is about actual goals without an action plan really remains a wish list. So it is good to make sure that once you have documented your goals, come up and ask yourself, how am I going to achieve this? So that it can actually create a path for you to where you want to go. Then, remember, one of the things that we now discussing is it's mid-January. We had we all had um, New Year resolutions, but we have an accountability framework. So one of the biggest challenges is not the lack of an accountability framework. The accountability framework could be in form of maybe um, a software, it could be a people, or it could even be just you yourself. So it is good to make sure that you have an accountability plan that will help you move from stage one to stage two. And then the other thing is, you cannot have do it all by yourself. So it is not bad to ask for help. So seeking help is a key issue that most of us really run into. It is not does not show that you do not know where you want to go, but vulnerability is really a sign of strength. So you need to be sure that as you even come up with your um, with your goals, know where to seek help and when to seek that help. Then what are some of the solutions that, that you can actually implement to make sure that you will actually achieve your goals? One is seeking information and knowledge. You can never know where you can go unless you actually know that you, you have sufficient information about what is required of you. Seeking knowledge is important, whether it is through maybe listening to YouTube podcasts, reading books, or even attending seminars. It will never go wrong in being able to get more information. Then seeking help from coaches, books, and software is one of the key things. So determine your learning 
uh, ability or ways that you would like learning so that you can actually customize on them and actually make sure that they work then being real and honest with oneself it is okay to say that this is not for me yes it looks good and rosy but it is not for me so being real with yourself is important they know how to stay on it and uh, to, uh, know how to actually say no or even wait. Many a times we do not achieve our goals because they get clouded by some of the other things, the things that we do for other people. So one of the things that you need to learn is to say no. Start with someone who can help you, maybe hold you accountable in ability to say no. Then finally, you should set goals beyond your reach so you, are, you can always live for something. So stretch your goals so that you can actually be able to... Welcome to the List Consulting YouTube channel where we discuss matters, finance, investments, and running successful businesses. Today, being the beginning of the year, or the first month of the year, we continue to discuss things about goal setting. Last, the, last, the, last the last conversation we had was about investing for this year and to the future. But now, remember one of the things that we say is that you need to think about your goals. So today, we are covering seven key goal setting mistakes and five key solutions.